Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and today's project is a camera slider. The idea behind this project is most of my videos I do are woodworking videos, so which can be a little boring at times. So with camera slider, I'm hoping to add a little bit more interest to some of my shots. So instead of doing most of the shots like this, they can look more like this. So let's get started. First I'm going to mark out the angle pieces that need to be cut. I'm making these about 8 inches from tip to tip. Next I'll use my Dremel and a cutoff wheel to cut the angles of the steel. I'm just going slow and letting the wheel do the cutting without trying to force anything. Next I tape both angled pieces together and I'll grind them flush. By taping the pieces together it will ensure that they are a perfect match when done. I'll keep test fitting them until they fit well inside the angled steel. Now that I have my pieces cut I'm going to weld everything together. I start by welding one of the end pieces to the 3 foot long angled steel. I'll start by tack welding everything and then final weld it later. Now I'm going to start making the slider. I'll start by cutting a 6 inch piece of the flat bar. I'm just using a hacksaw to do this. I will then line up the roller blade wheels to where I want them and make my marks for the holes to be drilled. I will drill two 5 and 16 inch holes in the front part of the slider. Then I'll just clean up all the sharp edges on the grinder. Next I'll drill the holes on the back 4.5 inch plate of the slider. I'll drill three holes in a row because the back part has to be adjustable in order to get the slider inside the track. I'll just clean it up with a Dremel to make sure the sides are smooth. Next I'll weld the two pieces of slider together. And then just grind the weld smooth. Now I can assemble everything. I'm using the nuts and bolts that I took apart from the roller blades to attach them to the metal part of the slider. Then I will insert the slider with the back wheel loose. Once it's inside the track, I can fully extend it and tighten everything up. Now that I have the slider part done, I can start welding up the couplings and the bushings for the legs and the threaded rod. I will need to weld four couplings for the legs and two bushings for the threaded rod to go through. I will also weld the Allen wrench onto a 5 16 inch coupling. Now I am going to grind the Allen wrench piece smooth as well as the two nuts that I screwed onto the threaded rod. I insert the rod into the bushings and now I just tape the allen wrench to the slider. Then I will screw in 6 inch bolts for the legs. I attach my drill to the end of the threaded rod and just used a clamp on the trigger to make the slider go. Well that's the camera slider build so I hope you enjoyed it. I'll have all the materials you need in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed this video please subscribe. Thanks.